Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving you part 33 of what if Naruto was given a second chance. Remember to get this one to 300 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also guys, go ahead and check out the brand new episode of what if Naruto had the red Renegon and enjoy that guys. And also over on Anime King 2, I posted a brand new episode of what if Naruto unlock a strange power so go ahead and check out that as well and also stay in tune for what if Naruto got his memory sealed away over on anime king 2 and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and remember if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoy the videos on both anime king and anime king 2 go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the anime king family and thank you for all of your help and support remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new i'll be replying talking about all of you so yeah, without further ado, what is we begin this new episode? Start the intro. So, the last time he left off, as Snade on Vu's phone, location of Kisame and Itachi, as he was passing through the land of beers, and they would make their way through the Hain no Kuni border soon, as she quickly assembled a team. Team 7 was short Naruto since he was still at Kumo, but he sent a message to them by a toad informing them that he's okay and that he took down the two S rank ninjas. The Raikai also sent a letter thanking her for Naruto's assistance in saving Yujito's life. Snally was still a bit pissed off that he left the village without informing anyone until he left though. But still, at least he went and saved that girl's life. But she was still a bit pissed though. As she sent out a team, the remaining members of Team 7 along with Team 8 students to track down and eliminate the other two members of the Akaske. Given the information that Jare has gotten, those two members Itachi and Kisame were the last two that they know of. Except for the leader, which he had no idea who that was. As they headed out, as Nade sent the coordinates by the toad that Naruto sent for where Team 7 was going. As Naruto left Kumo after talking to Raikagi, as he made his way, seeing that he didn't really use kunais like his father, he just marked his Hiroshin on his swords and also he marked places he didn't really use kunais, so they didn't have a kunai for him to just flash though. As he made his way past the land of waters, as the Kayubi then stopped him as Kurama told him. After tweaking with the seal, Kurama was able to send things outwards. There was another Biju nearby. He was freed. As it was Icebu. As Kram could sense some ninjas as well. As Naruto made his way, if he could just get Icebu to move. As he disrupted the water, making Icebu rise up to the surface. As the three tailed turtles started to attack him. But Naruto was able to touch him right in the forehead. As Kram linked the boat of them. As they found himself in a white empty plane. Icebu was furious at first. Someone else wanted to seal him away. But after talking, and saw Krama there, ICB was surprised that Krama would be talking to a human like this. As ICB saw that it was something special about Naruto, as he asked Krama was he the one. As Krama nodded, ICB then told Naruto held out his hand. The both of them boom fists. As Naruto felt a strange connection between him and ICB, and he also felt something strange happen to his body at that second. And with that, ICB leave the waters, so the team that Urchimar sent could not capture him. As Yukimaru was with them to capture the three-tailed turtle because of his special ability. So with that, Naruto made his way. Meanwhile, Sasuke and his group finally caught up with the others. As Kisame told them, only one person is passing him, and that's Sasuke. As Sasuke looked over to Kakashi, Kakashi understood as he allowed Sasuke to go ahead while the rest of them took on Kisame. Sasuke made his way towards the Uchiha hideout that was nearby. It was a distance away from his friends, so if the battle got drawn out, they wouldn't get caught up in the chaos. As he faced Itachi after all these years. As Itachi tried to place him under his genjutsu. But Sasuke broke it instantly showing Itachi that he had the same eyes as him. It's time that they end this. So yeah guys, so it's basically that's where we left off. You guys can switch across the place and check out for yourself. So, what is the beginning this new episode? Hinata cried out in pain as she was thrown away violently by Kisame's blade. Kiba jumped up in the air as he caught her and landed. Hinata, 
You are right, he said. As she winced in pain, holding on to her side. Yeah, I'll be fine, she said. As Sakura landed over Kiba. Let me take a look at her. As Kiba handed her over to Sakura. As Sakura began her mythical ninjutsu. Kisame had a smirk on his face as he was currently clashing with Kakashi. He flipped up in the air dodging a barrage of bugs that came at him. He descended down as he swiped at Shino. Shino brought Wakuna but the force from Kisame's head sent him sailing backwards. As Kakashi appeared behind him and swing with a kunai right toward his throat. But Kisame ducked as he slammed his foot right in Kakashi's stomach, pushing Kakashi away as he flipped. Kisame smirked as he stabbed Sami at the right down to the ground. He then went through hand sign. Water style. Exploding water shock wave, he said. As he took in a deep breath, his cheeks started to puff out. He then blew out a stream of water out of his mouth that slowly engulfed the air in a massive shower. As the thing rised up high to engulf all the Konoha ninjas and came smashing down on them, trees and drone was ripped apart from the force of the water as Kisame sink into the water. Meanwhile that was going on at the Uchiha hideout, Sasuke and Itachi were clashing as Sasuke blade was out, clashing against Itachi kunai's sparks were flying everywhere until the both of them jumped back. The both of them then started throw kunai's and shrinking at each other as they started to clash everywhere, kunai's and shurikens bouncing off at each other, creating gash everywhere until the both of them came to a stop. They then rushed forward as Sasuke swung his blade as Itachi ducked right under it. As he thrust out a kunai right towards Sasuke's chest, Sasuke twisted his body just in time as he sent down his blade to clean Itachi in half. Itachi flicked up a kunai and blocked Sasuke's blade, giving him momentum as he spin his foot and slammed his feet right into Sasuke's chest, pushing Sasuke back a little. Sasuke neared his eyes at Itachi, the both of them, had their sharing and activated. As the both of them didn't see a word, until they rushed forward again and started to clash with each other. Meanwhile, outside, the group had gotten away a safe distance as Hinata was being held up by Sakura as they were on top of the massive water wave. Is everyone alright? asked Kakashi as a chorus of yes could be heard. As Kakashi then narrowed his eyes, his one visible Sharingan showing. Move, he said. The moment he said that, sharks then exploded out of the water. Shino extended his hand as bugs enveloped on two of the sharks as he started to sap away the shark chakra eaten away the jutsu rather quickly. As Kisame shot from the water with a smirk on his face, got you now, he says he swinged his blade straight towards Shino's head. Get to God, said a voice. As Kiba came barreling in, Kiba smashed right into Samihata with an incredible force, throwing Kisame back as Kisame was sent sailing. But the moment that happened, the real Kisame burst from underneath the water. As he smashed his blade right in the Kiba's stomach, Kiba body was sent hurtling. Kiba Hinata cried out as he was sent sailing backwards. Kisame ran through hand sign, water style, water rippling wave, he said. As the water ripple had exploded out, the pressure coming down on Kiba. But Kiba was suddenly grabbed by Kakashi who jumped out of the way and landed over to a safer distance. Kisame smirked as all of them were all around him. This was really really fun he thought to himself as he was enjoying the battle. As Kakashi speed through Hansa and so did Kisame, water style both of them said, water dragon jutsu. Two massive water dragons came up as they roared and rushed towards each other. They collided with a boom as water started raining down everywhere. Kisame burst from the rain water as he swings his blade towards Kakashi. Kakashi blocked it with a kunai but suddenly Sami had to tear right through his bandages. Slicing Kakashi in the arm as Kakashi jumped away. As Samihata started to purr and move around, the sword then went over Kisame's body. As Kisame then felt it as he looked over towards Shino, Shino narrowed his eyes behind his glasses. He tried to place his bugs on Kisame to drain off his chakra, but Samihata was able to absorb the chakra out of the bugs before they could do Kisame any real damage. It's not gonna be so easy, said Kisame with a smile on his face. Now come on, he said. As he looked around, it's five of you. Don't tell me you're that weak. Let's have some more fun. I expected more from you. Famous. Copy Ninja Kakashi Hatake, he said. Come on, don't let me down, he said with a smirk on his face. Well then, if you want me to go first. He then speed through hand sign, water style, five hunger shark as he places five finger on the water. Chakra spread it out from his fingers and went into the water. 
as five sharks emerged and started to chase each and every member down while Kisame was in the center with a smirk on his face. He used that opportunity as he rushed towards Sakura who was handling her shark. As he swings Sami at her, she saw him coming and she jumped back but he lashed out even more. The scales of Sami Hata coming right towards her. Kietsuga! As two spinning blurs came from both sides. Kisame sinks straight down to the water. As Kiba and Akumara spin as they go straight up, they then came diving back down as they went down into the water going for Kisame. But when they went down there, they didn't see Kisame anywhere. But three sharks then came rushing towards them. The two of them branched out but the sharks exploded in a violent shockwave that threw them out of the water with tremendous force. The two of them came and landed back on the surface of the water, huffing a bit. As Shino then jumped back over towards Kakashi. He has us all at a disadvantage here with his control over to the water to this extent. I know, said Kakashi, as he narrowed his eyes looking around. But he spread it so wide. I see now why they call him the tailless tail beast. He has enough chakra to produce this amount of water to spread it in such a long distance. We won't be able to make it back to normal footing before he catch one of us off guard. As Shino narrowed his eyes, as Kakashi tried to come up with a plan, suddenly, three sharks burst from the water as they came diving at Kakashi and Shino. Kakashi speaks through hand sign. Water style, water wall, he said, as he created a water wall as a shark, smash right into it. You block that one. Let's see you block this one. The both of them had to quickly jump out of the way as Kisame's sword tear right through the water wall as he appeared behind them with a smile still edged on his face. This was just becoming more. He was still cut off with a massive explosion was off into the distance where the hideout was. He was still thinking about his friend Itachi. Well, that would be the last that they see of him. Because Itachi wanted them to be found. He wanted to face off against Sasuke. And Itachi never wanted to talk about the topic. What they're going to do after he defeats his brother. So Kisame saw it as a way of Itachi. Fighting to the death. Not even him. No if he can win this battle. He's gonna be quite bored when he's gone. He thought to himself. Even though he really doesn't say anything most of the time. But it doesn't matter. As he turned back to the others. Well then. What do you say we wrap this up? I was thinking the same thing, said Kakashi, as he appeared behind Kisame. As he swiped with his kunai, Kisame substituted the water clone as Kakashi ripped right through it. The thing burst into water. Kakashi cursed as the water started to envelop his body. He couldn't move fast enough as he was trapped in a water prison. As Kisame rose up out of the water, one down, he said. Now, for you four, he said that smirk on his face as a real Kisame came out from underneath the water as a clone held Kakashi in place. Meanwhile, back at the Uchiha hideout, the roof had been destroyed as both Uchiha's were on top of the roof clashing with all their might. Firestyle, Fireball Jutsu both of them said as they released a massive fireball from their moat. The two fireballs collided together. Itachi shot one of his eyes as blood started to bleed from the other. His eyes morphing. Amateratsu, he said. Sasuke did the same as blood came down. Amateratsu, he said as well. The two black flames clashed into each other. It was for a power of stamina now, a power of will, as each brother tried to keep the eye open for as long as possible. Itachi saw his vision getting hasty and blurry. He then lost as he slipped for a second. He had to jump away from the black flames. As Sasuke quickly rushed forward towards him, the both of them engaged in a tight to battle, clashing against each other violently. Before, Itachi jumped away. It seems, you have gotten a little better little brother, he said. You were the one that forced me to grow up. You were the one that made me push myself this way. So I could finally take you down one day. But not before I get answers. What if the answer you are seeking is not the right one? What will you do then, asked Itachi, panting a bit. It doesn't matter. At least I'll have some closure. At least. I'll have something. And what if the answer is even more frustrating than the reality? I already told you it doesn't matter. I was on the edge already. Feel like everything was hopeless. Just to give it all up. But. Someone I never expected to be there as a friend. Who has recently become the closest thing to family I have right now. Because of his encouraging words. Something of my best friend. He was the one that stopped me from falling down 
that dark chasm of no return. So it doesn't matter what you say, as long as I get some comfort, as long as I can truly understand. A smile came on Itachi's face, it seems, like you have grown little brother, but you still cannot escape what is going to happen. I have already told you Sasuke, you would be my light, and I already told you, I'm not buying your bullshit said Sasuke. If it is true, that this mother Uchiha is still out there, after I defeat you here, I'm going to find him and kill him to revenge our clan. But after that, I can finally, I can finally get some rest. It is all I desire right now said Sasuke. Itachi felt a sad pain in his heart, looking at the broken look on his brother's face. He just wanted rest. He is going through a difficult state right now, and Itachi knew that he was the one that drive his brother there. Well then, enough talk, let's end this shall we? As Sasuke went through hand sign, fire style, fire rain he said as he started to spew fire up into the sky. As Itachi looked up, he had to quickly dodge as the fire turned into the form of a fire dragon head and came raining down towards him. The thing exploded the roof that they were on, while some of the fire simply spray up in the sky. Itachi not focusing on the sky getting darker and darker, as Itachi kept on dodging before all of them ran out. Sasuke then went through hand sign, lightning release, Senmon shower he said as he fired off hundreds of Senmon needles straight towards Itachi. Itachi body exploded into a flock of crows as they flew away a distance before reforming into the real Itachi, who went through hand sign, fire style, phoenix flower jutsu, earth style, mud wall. Said Sasuke as he slammed his hand on the ground, a massive mud wall erupted as it blocked Itachi fireball. Sasuke then jumped inside as he threw a shuriken straight towards him. Shuriken clone technique, he said, as the shuriken multiplied into 20 each of them, and there were 3 of them, so include, there were 60 of them. Itachi pulled out the kunai as he started to evade and block anyone that he couldn't evade. When they were over, Sasuke flashed in front of him and brought down his katana, as Itachi blocked it with the nick of his blade. Before twisting his hand as he grabbed onto Sasuke's shoulder, he then smashed his fist right into Sasuke's gut. Sasuke winks in pain and stepped back a bit as Itachi then spin and drive his foot right into the center of Sasuke's chest, knocking Sasuke away. Sasuke flipped on his feet before slamming his hand on the ground. Itachi had to leap out of the way as the roof exploded with a current of lightning shooting out where Itachi was. As Itachi went through hand sign once again, fire style, fire dragon he said. Breathing out a roaring flame out of his mouth that took the head of a dragon and came shooting straight towards Sasuke. Sasuke went through hand sign, water style, water bullet as he took in a deep breath. He fired out several water bullets from his mouth. They slammed right into the fire dragon. Steam filled the entire area as the both of them tried to look through the smoke. Their sharing gun activated, both of them getting tired, these eyes, both of their eyes bleeding. They couldn't keep it up for much long, but neither was willing to give up that easily. As Sasuke was proving himself, he has finally surpassed his brother, and Itachi wanted to see what Sasuke was fully capable of, but he still did not notice. The sky quickly darkened and lightning started to flash, the thunder started to rumble. The both of them clashed in the smoke, using their Sharingan to predict each other's movements. Meanwhile, as the other three were being kept busy, as Yuri Kisami was currently after Hinata, Hinata was dodging the strikes of Sami Hata until Kisami stomped right on the water, surfaced hard. A small wave then rushed towards Hinata. She jumped up in here to avoid the wave. As Kisami spin and launched, Sami Hata straight towards her. Ear palm, she said as she blasted away Sami Hata with a force that came from her palm. Kisami appeared behind her. She was shocked at his speed. He delivered a spinning kick that sent her sailing as she slammed right on top of the water before she started to sink. Hinata Kiwa cried out as he was too busy facing off against his clone, so he couldn't get to her fast enough. As Kakashi was still trapped in the water prison and the other two were still facing off against their clone, as Kisame sank straight down into the water. Water style, super sharp bomb jutsu he said as a massive shark formed behind him as he placed his arms out. The shark then released a mighty roar before thrusting forward with incredible speed something fly into the water. Kisame felt the slight disturbance 
but the thing was just too fast to be stopped. As the thing blurred right in front of Hinata who was trying to get away, Dragon Rasengan, a massive blue dragon with several balls of Rasengan inside it, burst forth on the person's arms as it smashed right into the giant shark. The thing exploded out, making the water ripple. Meanwhile outside, Kakashi freed himself from the water prison as his eye had changed into his Mangita Sharingan using the Kamui he was able to free himself as he tore the clone body into half. The water suddenly exploded a violent shock wave making the Konoha ninjas jump away as the clones got swept up in their own water and they dissipate. Hinata found herself a distance away as she was currently standing on a tall tree as one of the trees that were speared by the rushing water because it was far back in distance. Someone holding on to her. She so lifted up her head. A smile came on her face. Naruto Kun, she said. You okay? Naruto asked. Yeah, I'm fine, she said. As Naruto put her down and she rested her back against the tree. Don't worry, he says. He gave her a smile. Everything's gonna be alright now, he said. As he jumped off the branch and landed on top of the water. The Konoha ninjas then flashed beside him. Naruto, you're here, said Sakura. Yeah, sorry about the delay. Hey, what took you so long? asked Kiba. Well, I thought that the mighty, greatest Konoha Shinobi, Kiba Inuzaka could handle himself and defeat this missing in. So that is why I decided to stay back for a while, said Naruto. Kiba blinked. Well, you did say that you were stronger than him. So why would he arrive if he knew that you got it handled, said Shino. As Kiba blinked again, aren't you going to say anything, Naruto asked. As Kiba mumbled something on his breath. What's wrong, said Naruto. It's just because he has the advantage in water, that is the only reason why he's not dead yet, Kiba said. Oh, is that so, said a voice, as Kisame rides out of the water, Samihata on his shoulder. He had a smirk on his face. You know, I've been waiting for a long while now for our confrontation. Since those years ago when you bested me in that confusion, is that what you call it, said Naruto. So you thought the only reason I won back then was because you were stuck in some kind of confusion. Yes, I underestimate you, never knowing that you were that strong. But now, I'm here to reclaim my name by pulverizing you straight down into the ground. Oh, is that so? Nerd look back at Kakashi. This guy's a bitch to fight, especially in the water. Not to mention with that sword of his. Kakashi then looked down to his stomach. No, I get it, said Sakura. That is why every time he hit me with that sword, I feel so much weaker. He has been draining our chakra ever since. Yes, he was able to do the same thing to my bugs, said Shino. That sword of his is quite effective. Yeah, that is why you can't let it touch you, said Naruto. I'll need you guys to get back. Are you crazy, Sakura said. You can't fight this guy on your own. Don't worry about me, Naruto said. I'll be fine. And I don't want you guys to get caught up when I use my lightning. With this water here everywhere, it's going to be hard for me to go all out with you guys around. Because I'll be worried about hurting you guys. As he looked towards Kakashi. Naruto is right, said Kakashi. Naruto has the affinity to hurt Kisame the most in this water. By using his lightning, none of us has a strong affinity for lightning like him. So I suggest we all move back and give Naruto space. Alright, fine, Sakura said. But don't get yourself killed, you idiot, she said. I'll be fine, said Naruto. And also, don't go after Sasuke. Don't go too near, at least. He has to do this on his own, otherwise, he will never truly move on. Yeah, we already knew about that, said Kiba. It seems he wants to do this one with his brother on his own. But still, said Naruto, don't be too far behind. When the battle is over, don't just leave his unconscious body there. Quickly, go into the situation and retrieve his body. You speak like there is someone after him, said Kakashi. Well, it's never wrong to be too cautious, am I right, said Naruto. As Kakashi felt like Naruto knew something that he wasn't telling them, but he simply nodded. Alright, he said. Move out. Good luck, they said. And with that, they flashed away. I'm glad that you're so noble to fight me on your own, because it would be really bad for them to interfere in our fight. Because right now, I can go all out on you, focusing on you alone. You can feel the full wrath of my power. I've been waiting for this for so long now. You can't imagine how excited I feel about this match. Naruto unsheathed both of his blades. You know, right now, you're the best swordsman from the Seven Ninja Swordsman of Kiri. 
when I defeat you, would that make me the best swordsman in the world? Because from that organization, I don't know any other better swordsman. Well, except the samurais, but they don't fall in that caliber. Hmm. Such high talk. Do you really think you can defeat me? Asked Kisame. Well then, we're just gonna have to find out, said Naruto. He shot forward at a second notice as Kisame brought up Samihata. For a blade that size, Kisame was able to twirl it and swing it around in proper ease. Naruto clashed against Samihata, the water rippling under their feet. The both of them were blown back by the terrible force that came with it. Before Naruto threw one of his blades towards Kisame, Kisame twirled as he knocked the blade away with tremendous force making it sail straight under the water. He knew what this brat was capable of and there was no way he was making him get so close to him. With that, Naruto vanished. Kisame narrowed his eyes before two blades burst out of the water to slice him right through. He had jump away as he drives Samihata straight down. Naruto twisted his body as he came out of the water and thrust his foot up. Kisame twists as he grabbed Naruto's leg. He twists Naruto and threw him violently. But Naruto vanished before he could even touch the top of the water. Kisame narrowed his eyes around. Huh, that jutsu of yours. But it's not gonna work every time, he said, as he speeds through Hansine. Water style. Thousand. Hungry sharks, he said, as he slammed his hand on the water. The water started to rage up as Naruto appeared distance away. The massive tidal wave with thousands of sharks coming towards him as Kisame was riding on the very top. Hey, Krama, say Naruto, what you said to me about Aisibu? Seeing that I was already able to bend, I built this to an extent. Does that mean I can also take control Naruto acts? Well, said Krama. As Naruto remember what Krama said, flashback. A bit earlier, as Naruto was rushing towards where his friends were. So that is what happened, said Naruto. As Krama is telling him, as that fist bomb be sure with Aisibu. The both of them link, and not to mention Aisibu, gave Naruto a boost in power. As Naruto could feel it, his control over water, not to mention when he was near the lakes, it felt strengthened. Aisibu had shared some of his chakra with Naruto, not to mention the Jinjuliki of the Three Tails, had almost perfect control over water, seeing that Yagra had a strong affinity for water, and given that Aisibu was inside of him, it just boosted affinity even more. Well, that's awesome, said Naruto, as he enhanced his speed. End of the flashback. Well, said Naruto, let's see just how much powerful it has gotten. Mind helping me out a bit? I want to see the full extent of this jutsu. Your friends are a safe distance away, so there's no need to hold back, said Krama, as he started giving Naruto his chakra. That's exactly what I thought, said Naruto, as he went through hand sign. As Kisame looked down, he could feel the large portion of chakra building up in Naruto. But not to mention Naruto's adding the Kayubi's chakra to this attack. He wanted to test the full portion of his jutsu because he's never used it at this rate before. Water style. Colossal water dragon, he said. He smashed his hand on top of the water surface, pumping chakra into it. Kisame watch. What the hell? Said Kiba from a distance away. With Kakashi and the others. It, is that Naruto doing? Said Kiba. So you still want to face off against him, asked Shino. As Kiba grumbled, I, I, he stuttered. Naruto-kun is awesome, said Hinata. As Kiba pouted a bit, a bit jealous. As the group watched a massive serpent came out of the water, even Kisame was shocked. For this boy did to bend the water at such an extent, as the giant serpent towered over all of his thousand sharks. The thing then roared before letting loose, but Kisame drive forward. The two things collided. A shockwave and water exploded everywhere. Even the Konoha ninjas who were a distance away felt the shockwave as it was splashed on them. Even Naruto's body was thrown away even though he applied chakra to his feet. Kisame was thrown violently as well as the two jutsus collided with a terrible force. The water was split in half and blown away all over the forest, forcing the boat of them to land right on the ground. Before the water started to rush in back, the boat of them had to flip and land back on the top of the water surface. Kisame was smirking the entire time. Now, I must say, this is a real challenge. I see why you're a double S rank ninja in the bingo book. This is what I've been waiting for. Let's see if you can keep it up, he said. As the both of them dashed forward, clashing violently in the center. Meanwhile, 
both attaching and Sasuke was panting. I know you're still holding back. Having awakened these eyes, I know what you can truly do. Well, let's see. You hold back when I do this, said Sasuke. As he raised his hand in the ear, it seems like you haven't noticed what I've been doing. Itachi looked up in the sky as he saw the dark clouds form up ahead. They started to rumble and crackle with pure lightning before Sasuke's hand became enveloped in pure lightning. I call this Jutsu Kirin. Sasuke says a massive lightning dragon came from the clouds and roared. If you hold back, you will die, brother, he said. As Itachi looked up, now disappear with the thunder clap. As the massive lightning dragon came down a blinding flash over off into the distance as the Konoha team saw the massive beast came hurtling down from the sky. Sasuke considered Sakura. As they had made their way a bit closer, Kakashi could see now why Nerd told him not to get too close. As the attack completely blinded the area, a blinding white flash surrounded the area for a long minute. Hinata had to wait to activate her Byakon. The ear was saturated with so much power. As she was able to see them. He's okay. Itachi's lying face down. He's, he's still alive, she said. As Sakura dreaded. If Sasuke used such a powerful technique and Itachi would survive it. Can Sasuke really win this battle? No. She had full confidence in Sasuke. As her body was just itching for her to go forward and go over there. But... She had to listen to what Kakashi said, as she knew that Sasuke had to do this fight on his own. But she wanted to be over with. She just wanted Sasuke to be okay. Meanwhile, it seems like playtime is over, little brother, said Itachi, as he got up to his feet. You were right. I was holding back. But it seems like I don't have to anymore. Because if it wasn't for this, I would be dead, Itachi said. As he got up as a skeleton form of snow formed around him. That is exactly what I wanted you to do brother. For us to finally duke it out. 100% no more holding back. In the final moments. As Sasuke eyes then spin to life. It actually didn't watch. As a skeleton form formed around Sasuke as well. Sasuke did not see but Itachi was smiling. Before he coughed up blood, but still, he had a smile on his face as he enjoyed seeing his brother grow and get stronger. But this was where everything came to an end. I see. So you have also awakened this ability of the monkey Tesharingan as well. Well then, said Itachi, as he stepped forward, let us see which one of us would be the victor, shall we? Yes, let's. As both giant beasts move forward to attack each other in a furious brawl. Meanwhile, Naruto was thrown back violently as he crashed on top of the water before getting back up to his feet. There was a small smile on his face. I can see you're just like me. You're enjoying this battle. I must say, you're stronger than I thought that Kisame as his entire cloak was torn. There were small cuts on Naruto's clothing but nothing too dangerous. But Itachi Akas clothes had been torn, but he didn't have any minor wounds or major wounds on his body. He was fine otherwise. Finally, at last, someone that can truly push me to my limits. Someone like you is worthy of being called in a double S rank ninja. But let's see you stand up against this, Kisame said. His smirk growing wider before he speed through hand sign. Water style. Water prison. Short dance, he said. As suddenly, the Konoha ninja stopped. What the hell said Kiba? As a massive dome of water surrounded the entire area that he just came from. Hinata looked over. It's Kisame, she said. He's trapped near the Konoha water dome. And what the hell? She was surprised. He's merging. Merging what soccer acts? His sword. Back inside the dome. I know this, said Naruto. The moment he chased after me. Anywhere he goes, this water dome follow behind him, so I can't make him go too forward because my friends will end up getting caught in this. As he watched, Kisame merge with his sword, but at this level, he's incredibly faster and incredibly stronger. I guess I have to... Before Naruto could finish that thought, Kisame blurred towards him. 
in order to try to swim away as fast as possible, Kisame is smashed right into him, forcing him to knock away his blades. Kisame then body slammed his blades straight away. As Kisame spinned back around and came back, Naruto closed his eyes. Kisame smirked. So, waiting for death, are we? Well, that not much fun, he said. But suddenly, Naruto snapped his eyes open as he tackled, as he smashed right into Kisame with a trembling force. Kisame was shocked as his effect of swimming so fast was cancelled out. He noticed that the blonde eyes had changed, but to have this strength behind so much power. As Kisame moved back, he did not lash out at Naruto again, but Naruto thrust out a fist. The both of them connected and pushed Kisame back with tremendous force. As Naruto was currently in Sage mode, I thought you weren't going to use it on them, said Krama. Well, he's one of the stronger members of the Akaske. I guess it's only fitting, said Naruto. But it's time to end this. Can't have Obito coming and trying to do anything stupid with Sasuke's body. Even though Naruto looked over as he saw the battle was not over yet. So how are you going to do this, said Krama. A smile came on Naruto's face. I did make precautions before coming here. As Naruto went through hand sign, water style, he said. Raging chasm as he blew out a tremendous force of water pushing the arty dome of water that he was in. Kisame smashed against the dome but he pried right through it. But the force behind Naruto attack as Naruto increased the chakra output pushed Kisame back a bit. As Naruto plays hands together, multi should clone jutsu as he created at least a hundred clones inside. Kisame started to rip through them as Naruto substituted a clone that he left straight out into the forest. When Naruto looked forward, he saw the giant dome ahead of him. The ground then started to crack a bit before he pushed off. With a blast of air as he made his way straight up into the sky. Literally standing up on top of air as the air around him was just dancing. This is gonna take a lot of chakras, said Naruto. What are you gonna use, said Krama? The thunder fist? Yeah, said Naruto. But in order to do that, I have to coat my body. With a layer of water and then a layer of wind and a layer of lightning so... I won't get incinerated along with my target. So I have to be perfectly calm and make sure that everything is perfectly balanced unless inside of that water dome things are gonna be a mess. You know, you should have more faith in your technique. You were the one that created them, said Krama. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about, said Naruto. That water dome. I just have to make sure my clones keep him occupied for a long enough time. But they're running out, said Naruto, as he closed his eyes. Suddenly, Naruto started to pull the water from the ear and started to surround his body in a thick layer of water. The chakra binding it all together surrounded him in a thick layer of water. A humming sound could be heard as the wind started to vibrate all around him. Before, lightning started to cackle around as well, protecting his body from getting any electrocuted because the wind was between the water. He then held out his fist. Before, his chakra started to show visible in his hand as he started to pump more and more chakra. With his body already enhanced in sage mode, this was just going to make it even more powerful. As the wind appeared in his hand and lightning then started to cackle, his face became so bright that the light started to resonate all around the area. As the lightning started to spark to a new degree, which was so dense, the thing like a literal lightning bolt. Kisame ripped through the last batch of clones as he felt something. But before he could look up, three more clones and attack him, getting his way as he ripped through the first one. Coming down and tearing right through the second one, the third one came behind him and thrust out a kunai, but he blocked it. One of Naruto's last clones grabbed Naruto blades out of the water as Kisame looked up in the sky as a clone managed to get away. Kisame then looked up as he remembered the attack that Naruto did on him. That literally rained on that bolt of light from the sky that nearly ripped his body in half. Well, it did. Taking half of his body that took a while to regrow from Sami had to heal in him. Kisame then started to channel a large portion of his chakra. His entire body resonated with pure, unbridled power. As the spear on him started to vibrate and hum. Till the thing started to bend as he started to manipulate the shape of the giant dome. Turn it into a giant spear. Something he has been working on. It's finally time for him to use it. No one has ever pushed him this far before. But it's time that he did. The thing turned to a giant spear with so much power. Literally Chakra was oozing from it. As Naruto still floats in the air. Meanwhile the Konoha team they were moving back as far as they could. 
As he that had warned them about the incoming danger, they couldn't stay here. They couldn't stay so near. They had to move away. But they were already a good distance. Kisame lashed out. The water spear thrusting forward, tearing through the sky. As Naruto muttered a few words, Storm release. Thunder fist, he said. As he then dived down his entire body, blowing off a massive pressure of air to increase his speed. Naruto fist collided with the top of the spear and ripped right through it. Suddenly, a volt of electricity shocked Kisame. Stunning his movement for a second, that was all that Naruto needed. As he came barreling in, he smashed the thunder fist right in Kisame's face. Kisame's body was grinded by the electric force as the wind blazed behind the thunder fist, tear right into his skin, disrupting his chakra. The massive water spear exploded, but Naruto wasn't done yet. As a force from the water pushed into him in that dense blast, before the lightning erupted in a blinding flash, the entire place exploded outwards, everything going white. Hinata had to quickly deactivate her Byakuan because her eyes were literally burned out because of the amount of chakra. A huge clapping sound like the heaven himself had slammed together could be heard. As Kisame was thrown from the ground violently, his body spiraling, still in the dome of pure electricity, and the wind blade shredding his body in pieces, literally tearing his chakra system to a microscopic level entering his body. Despite the agonizing pain, Kisame had a smile on his face and he couldn't believe it. As he saw this kid was a lot more powerful than he thought. He was at least bested by one of the greats. At least he wasn't brought down by a so-called idiot. Boom! His body exploded into the ground with a massive explosion that ripped through everything around him. The Konoha ninjas were safe a distance away, but all the trees around them were blown apart. They had to literally jump away as the debris and everything was thrown violently. But lucky enough, they were safe from the massive explosion. As he had to bunker down. Everything had to calm down for at least a good 5 minutes before Hinata could even look over. She couldn't even activate her Byakuan. The air was still saturated with so much chakra, it could blind her if she did. It would deeply affect her eyes. Kiba started to sniff the ear. I can't find a specific smell, he said. As Kakashi looked over, as he looked at all the destruction, he could see the smoking crater ahead where something had dropped from the sky. Let's move, he said. As they went to check up if Naruto was okay, the group made their way forward as they came up on the site. Embedded in the ground was Kisame, his lifeless body not moving. Samihata was looking beat and battered by the force of a lightning, but he was fused with Kisame's body, so he didn't receive so much damage. But it was a bit rough top in some places. As Kisame was lying there, you could see the tiny holes all over his body where another wind blades had literally sliced right into his system. But that wasn't a big deal. His body was literally fried by the force of Naruto attack. Terrible burn marks. He seemed to have suffered burn marks on another level. Not to mention his insides were completely fried, his heart burning to a degree that he couldn't stay alive anymore. As, despite that he still had a smile on his face, where is Naruto said soccer as he looked around. As they saw no sight of Naruto, as Hinata couldn't activate her Byakan yet, as she tried the ear was still saturated with so much power. As she could see now how strong Naruto Kun was. For him to be able to do something like this as she looked around. You're really silent about fighting Naruto said Shino. Shino, quit it okay? said Kiba, with an embarrassing blush on his face as he realized that he was mistaken if he think that he can defeat Naruto. As much as he hated to say Naruto was far, far 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 out of his league right now. Back over to the destroy hideout, the two Susanoo roared as they smashed their colossal fists together. Boom, they were thrown back violently from the impact of their last amount of chakra being put up in that fist. The both of them collapsed down on their back, blood oozing from their eyes of overuse. As Sasuke has gotten these eyes and overused them to the limit where his eyesight is getting really terrible bad. 
Sasuke is struggling to get to his knees and Suno quickly feeding around him. Itachi, start to get back up. Sasuke couldn't believe, despite his brother, looking exhausted and looked like he was dying and sickly, he was still able to get back to his... He talked too soon as Itachi collapsed down to his knees, coughing up blood. Sasuke couldn't maintain it anymore as he picked up his blade that he saw nearby and started to step forward. Itachi, he cried out before dropping to his knees. As Itachi looked over, his brother has become so strong to almost kill him. Itachi knew that he was going to die very soon, his body was going to give out very soon. The only person who might be able to save him now was Sinaya Senju, and she was not here, but still. He didn't want to live. He wanted to die. For his brother to be known as a hero that saved the clan. Sasuke, he said. As Itachi got to his feet despite the agonizing pain, as he slowly stepped forward, blood started to leak from his mouth, but he ignored that. Itachi Sasuke screamed as he got to his feet. Only to collapse back down. Itachi has been dealing with his eyes for a long time now. Despite his sickness and his eyes vision getting blurry. He's been used to that but Sasuke could barely find it in to stand. He was out of chakra completely. Itachi Susanoo was also gone. But Itachi's eyes were black. His Sharingan no longer showing. What? What give you the will to keep on going? Even after all of that. You still. You still want to take my eyes Sasuke shouted. Believe in the nonsense that Itachi told him. As Itachi looked at him, he was going to spoke, but Sasuke cut him off. I, I can't do this anymore, Sasuke said. Itachi was confused. Before I spoke to Naruto, I hated you. The only thing I want in this world was to kill you and get revenge for the clan. But Naruto made me saw a new light. He made me saw you in different ways. You as my older, gentle brother. And I don't want to hear that bullshit, but all of that was a lie, because I don't believe it for one bit. You were always nice to me, always protected me, always there for me. Whenever a father always gave me that disapproving look, you were always there smiling, behind his guard, just giving me that smile to cheer me up, despite me knowing the first style due to proving that I'm a true Uchiha. And he still just walked away. I didn't understand back then, but you, you were always there, telling me how proud of me you were. But now you stand here, telling me that all of that was a lie. I don't believe for one bit. You. I won't stand this anymore, Itachi. I tried. The hatred that you told me to fester. I tried to let go of it. I tried my best. But I just couldn't. I still tried. People in Konoha that I truly care about now. There's a girl even back there that I truly want to be with. But still, you. I can't be with her because of you. This part of me that just won't move on because of you, of what you did. And I, I can't move on till I get answers. I can't just kill you until I get answers and I need them now, Sasuke said. Tears started to pull down from his eyes. I remember you as a still loving brother who always was there for me. You can't tell me that was all a lie. You can't tell me you were always pretending. You just can't, Sasuke said as he broke down, dropping to his knees with tears in his eyes. As he started to stream down completely. It then clicked to Itachi right there. As he was speechless. He wanted Sasuke to kill him and get his vengeance. But he didn't think about Sasuke mentality. He was not thinking about that part. How broken and battered Sasuke would be. Looking at his brother now it was. It was literally paining him to see Sasuke like this. As he remember his mother's final words. Itachi. Just make sure you take care of Sasuke, okay? I will, mother. I will, he said with tears in his eyes. As he had to kill them. But now, look what he did to his brother. Itachi stepped forward. Sasuke sighed. Tears still leaking from his eyes. If there was no reason. If you did this just because you are that evil. And you were fooling me back then. I I don't care anymore then. If I had been that really naive back then. For you to fool me in such a way. For me to think that you were that loving caring brother. And you were nothing but a heartless monster. Then go ahead. Do what you have to do said Sasuke. 
as he didn't move. Sasuke felt Itachi standing right over him. What are you waiting for? To which Sasuke said tears still streaming from his eyes. He then felt Itachi lean down. Sasuke was shocked when Itachi enveloped him in a hug. As tears were literally pulling from Itachi's eyes. Seeing the state that his brother was in it hurt him to a extent that he never thought that would happen. Itachi hugged his brother from all these years, making contact with his brother. Sasuke felt that same warm feeling that he was feeling when he was younger. Itachi then saw something appear behind Sasuke as he looked up. He looked at the sea, the face of Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto was sitting on a stone platform. He wasn't saying anything or doing anything, he was just standing there. Itachi then gave Naruto a smile, despite Naruto not knowing anything. He knew that Naruto was the one that drives Sasuke out of this darkness. Naruto was the one that was there for him, Naruto was the one that was his friend. Seeing the state that Sasuke was in, he couldn't just leave Sasuke like this. He had to give him something. And he believed that if anything, Naruto was there to help Sasuke out. So, at least he could do was tell Sasuke the truth. He break the hug with Sasuke. Sasuke, it doesn't matter how you feel about me after this. I just want you to know that I will love you no matter what. Itachi pushed the last remaining amount of power he had into his eyes. Before, he locked eyes with Sasuke. Where are we, Sasuke said, as they were in a white empty plane. Maybe, if I had chosen a different path, maybe if I had gotten you to talk to mother and father, maybe, something would have changed. Maybe you could have been the one to change mother and father to show them. Maybe you could have been the one to stop this from happening, but... I made my choice. And what I'm about to show you, you will understand everything. You'll understand why I ended the Uchiha clan. It's time that I show you everything. It actually shows Sasuke everything indeed. Every single thing what happened. As Sasuke just stood there throughout all of this. It didn't take long for the real world as the both of them blink. It doesn't matter how you feel about me after this. I just want you to know, despite through and through everything, I will still love you little brother, like I always have. Sasuke's body finally caught up with him. All the abilities that he's been spamming out since the battle began, all of the techniques that he's been using, his body finally gave off the exhaustion. The last thing he heard was Itachi saying I love you before he collapsed right into Itachi's arms. Itachi, smile. He was the one that was supposed to die right here. Despite him going to die very soon, Sasuke had to pass out. Well, at least he told him and showed him. So, I'm guessing that you showed him what happened. Said Naruto as he appeared beside Itachi. Despite all that you did, you finally see that it has messed with Sasuke. To an extent that you needed to show him something for him to go on in his life. How did you, Itachi said, as he couldn't move anymore. I know about the massacre and what you did. I won't tell you how I know but just know that I know. And Itachi, you did what you had to do to save thousands of lives because you're that kind of a person because you didn't want to see a civil war happen. I'm sorry that you had to go through this alone. Being hated for something that you did to save the world. Hmm. Judging that you already know, can I ask you to do me a favor? Yeah, what is it? Don't let Sasuke fall. I have shown him this because I want to clear his mind. I want him to find a way to forgive the village. Can I ask you to watch over him? I've been doing that for a while now and I will continue to do so. But still, Itachi, you know there's some poison in Konoha that need to be rid of. Such as Donzo. Those two elders, they were just following Donzo's lead. They are nothing but drones that listen to his words But Donzo. He's a poison that is infecting the village. And he's one of them that needs to be taken care of. Well, if that is something you see to happen, 
for the village to continue on strong. Then I can't stop you. Well, it's not like I could, said Itachi. As Naruto chuckled. And don't worry. I bought that fake mother as well. I'll never let him touch Sasuke. Itachi was confused how Naruto knows so much things, but... He couldn't question right now as his eyes started to get droopy. Thank you, Naruto, he said. You're welcome. You can rest now, said Naruto. As Itachi smiled at him. Before... His body started to fall. As the two brothers just lie there, collapse on each other. You did something that no one else could do, Itachi. Killing everyone to make sure there is peace. I don't see you as an enemy of the leaf. I see you as a ninja who's willing to do anything to stop violence and war. But what Sasuke think of you will be the outcome of all of this. But it doesn't matter, I'll be there to convince him otherwise. After all, you are his loving brother that cares so much about him that you spared him. As Nurtle looked down the two brothers, before pulling out a scroll, as he sealed away it at his body, he could sense the Konoha team coming. They must have noticed that he quickly went away after killing Kisame. As he leaned up against the rock, you've done a lot today. Facing. Three S rank ninjas in a short period of time. I think it's time that you went on a vacation, said Krama, and relax. Well, once all of this is over, I guess I could. Yeah, that would be nice, a vacation. With a ton of girls and a ton of drinks. As Krama chuckled, huh, I suppose that would be nice for you. But you deserve it. Your team is on their way. You can rest now until they get here. Yeah. I know, said Naruto. But guys, be instant. So right here, if you want to be part of this or not to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn the bell notifications if posted. But I'm off now. See you guys soon. Peace.